Hello, people. I hope that you're having just a great day today. Today, we're taking another look at Lord Dunsany. In this case, we're taking a look at The Avenger of Perdondaris. Uh, this is another short story that is in my collection by Penguin Classics, which I will link to you in the comments below in case you're interested in checking it out. It's also available for free online, so I'll link you to both uh, links uh, in case you're, you're checking it out. In, in this short story, this is a sequel to uh, Shop and Go By Street, which is a sequel to Idle Days of the Yawn. So, which I've reviewed for you already. So if you're interested in reading this short story, you're definitely going to want to be get caught up with what's happening with the other two short stories. Uh, in this case, our primary character is from Ireland, and uh, he is going to this place called the Land of Dreams, based on his dreaming. Uh, in Idle Days of the Yawn, he spends uh, an entire journey, a long time, there in the dreamlands. Uh, and, and obviously he wakes up and uh, he ends his journey. Uh, in the beginning of the uh, shop and go by street, a couple of years have passed. He has not been able to return to the land of dreams with his dreams. So he seeks out another path. Um, and then he returns uh, from that uh, short story. Uh, and then after returning... Uh, a short while later, uh, we're now beginning uh, the adventure of Perdondaris, uh, and our protagonist wants to go back. He's teacher, there's a um, an, an elephant hunter who he wants to find out if he was successful or not in taking out the guy, uh, the beast who slew everybody who lived in the city of Perdondaris. In the first short story, Idle Days of Yon, uh, they're going. it's a travel log as they travel down the river Yon. And they spend time in this city, uh, Perdondaris, where they make some trades and they have fun. And there is a gate that has uh, a giant piece of ivory. And it's just one piece of ivory. So whatever made this thing was huge. Uh, and uh, it's very obvious that this thing could not have been killed easily. Uh, so, it, 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 so, so it's probably still alive. Um, and it's very displeased. Uh, so they leave Perdondaris quickly uh, and sail down the Yon. And then the next day after they leave, Perdondaris is destroyed. It's raised to the ground that everybody who lived in the city is killed. Um, and so in the second story, we're introduced to this character who is an elephant hunter, who is the person who's trying to avenge uh, the issue of Perdondaris. And then in the first couple pages of this short story, we're told about uh, him, and then we get back. Uh, our, our main character wants to go back, and so he has some interactions with some of the locals. Trying to get back like this witch and her cat that always laugh at him. Uh, and that sort of a thing, and they're poets. Um, and, and so the, he has some conversations with them, and then he gets to the pro land proper, the land of dreams. And he seeks out uh, the fortress, uh, the ivory fortress of the elephant hunter who has, who has uh, to check and see whether or not he's been successful in avenging the city to this great beast. And then that's the first four pages or so into a 13 or 14 page short story. So I'll leave you to it. I do like this short story. It's well written. It's like a 7.8 or so. So I'm going to run it up and give it to a an eight, an eight proper option. It's pretty good. Uh, I liked it a lot, uh, and uh, it's definitely a fun sequel. Uh, my understanding is, is that the next short story in this collection is not a sequel of these first three, so the story doesn't continue uh, with with our main character going from who's from Ireland uh, going back to uh, the land of dreams. So that, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I did enjoy this short story. Um, and I think you will too. Took me about a half an hour uh, for me to knock it out. Again, I'll link you to it in the comments below. Have you read The Avenger of Perdondaris? If you so, what did you think? Did you agree or disagree with any of my thoughts that I gave you in this video? Is there something you like to talk about, like in the spoiler section that I kept uh, in the second half of the short story you like to talk about? I will be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below. If you like this video, hey, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow in fantasy, like this one, science fiction, and horror. 
And then finally, hey, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my videos. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're being pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have a great day.